Okay, um, hello guys. I want to show you about how to train your hard case get easily and by using these two types of camera. Um, by the way, this one is fish eye, so you can see some curve on on this side. Okay, uh, and this camera, this one is. Uh, regular camera so this regular camera will record this window that shoots about our object that we want to train our model and then I have four more model of human so let's we start by using the screen recorder okay seven Six, five, four, three, two, one. You have to move it slowly from up to down. Then move it slowly too from left to right. Up and Can also zoom out. Okay. Yeah. And I think it's enough. So we can stop the human task on the screen recorder. Okay, complete. Now you have to open this folder we get this as human one dot mp4 and then we will try to extract a i'm sorry open csv train case get let me create our new folder human detector is all of uh, my um, train module and we use to make a new folder human one we have to open yes we put this video here now um, I have to use this software to extract all of the frame from the video that I record so you can easily get the positive number no the positive data of this object yeah. yes add the files and where is human human detector okay now we have we can use the cast we can customize the setting we will use every one second and to Extracted none. Make two. No, no, no. Uh, human detector. Okay. Save to. We have to make this grid. Yes, choose your directory and folder extract it okay okay now oh we can delete it oh man so okay we can start sorry for this and while we waiting we can open our trend 
train case get QE. I will give you the link below later. Um, now, all we have to do uh, is to make your photo. Ah, this is what we got. We got a lot of photos from the extracted video. And all we have to do now is rename it. So I will give you to the links of advanced renamer. And you so because our cascade trainer can detect any files that have symbolic character. And put the get picture on our human detector. Extract it human. Okay. Now because all of this still have a space on the name, we can change it to human one one. Mm. Oh, this is the new file name, and uh, we can see it. click start. Yes, seventy four files have already renamed so yeah <laughs> that will be piggy but it's okay so what we have to do next is create two folders positive and negative folder ah, I'm sorry oops 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 so the positive folder we we fill with this picture. Yeah, we got all of these pictures. And next is we have to fill the negative folder as the false picture. It means that other picture that not contains our object. So I already have it. Why? This may be the negative. So we have all oh, Peter 200 H1. I think I just copy 100. Okay, just copy. We put on negative false. Open your trainer and just close your folder. Where is uh, human detector? Alright, human detector. Select the folder. No? Negative image count is short to, uh, it means like how many negative images that you want. To improve your model, so in here we will use all of it 168 and 100 of positive image. Common number of states we can use just 15, maybe. And cascade, this is the default things, and yep, I think we can do this right now. Just start. What? Oh, I'm I'm sorry. The human detector. We will have to specify again. Yeah. Yes. Look at this. It start to train our model. And while we train, we can we can test our code later. So. Here I already 
create my own what is my own code and we can change it later on so we have to I will create new one so you guys can see human human let's say human dead one okay and pass and let me see oh it's already done looks no it's not done because you know the coil levels are on red is here it's terminated bro it's not completed but it's terminated so what we have to do is first check the number of is this that already gone is yes, 12 so we can put this just 12 stage okay and start again now back to our state. oh man what's wrong Okay, okay, okay. How about this? So it start to create the start to train and back to topic. Oh what Okay. Oh, it's done. Terminated. What? Ah, oh, I think we have to reduce and restart again. Okay. So. Yes, 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 this requires fire. <coughs> I think we've done it. Can we need it? Let's see. Can we use our project voice or not? So, it's already. We can copy. Just one hope. Human one. Where is the human one? Human one. So human. Human. Maybe in blue. All right. Okay. Next is we have to use frame is or uh, the tag image frame the tag frame and let's see what happened then. Where is the window? So this is the window. I'm sorry. We can run. Like this. Oh, I'm sorry. We already use this kind of. We already use this camera, so we have to turn it off first. Like right, goodbye. Just wait for me. Okay. Wait.
So you can can we see? Oh, it's not. It's still. Oh no 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 no. We not already chance. Uh. Yeah, we have to use human one. It's good. Yeah, you can see how we train our model. So how to the question is how to reduce the noise. So we have to increase our what is it called? I, I forgot the name, I'm sorry. The neighbor and the scale factor. The neighbor and the use is 10. So let's start again. You see? It takes our model. So how to reduce the noise? Now we can reduce the noise by increasing our scale factor. I will choose 1.55 and rerun. Yeah, it's done. No, it's it's really good, man. Uh, I think that just just like this and you can you can do this by your own and don't forget to like and subscribe my channel thank you